Um, I, I do remember working for this promoter called Roy Tempest, who started off as a, as a very uh, had, had vision uh, of bringing a lot of R&B acts to this country. No one had ever thought of it before. Northern Soul was becoming big, and Motown was becoming big. Um, and for the first year or so, when I worked for him, he was he was very straight. And I think towards the end, he saw so much money coming up, he wanted more, um, but he didn't want to pay the artists. So. It, Eventually, no artists or no, no uh, promotion or record company would come over for him. So he thought, well, hang on, um, I still need to sort of uh, keep in the business and earn some money. So he came up with this idea, as long as you put an adjective in front of the name, so it would be like The Fabulous Temptations or The Original Drifters or, or, or whatever, the, um, he, he, he could get away with it because people didn't know what these artists looked like. They heard their records, but they had no idea, you know, what they looked like. And I, and I remember very, very clearly we used to look after um, William Bell, who was quite a big actor in those days, and Percy Sledge, who had a hit record. But because they wouldn't work for him, he decided to get a, a guy from, I think, from Brixton, actually, basically, a West Indian guy, uh, and told him that on a Monday or every other day, or what, however he was booked, he would be William Bell. But he'd also be booked as Percy Sledge. Now, the only way he would recognise who he was was they employed me to put a moustache on him every night. So if he had a moustache <laughs> on the Tuesday and he'd touch his lip, he knew he was Percy Sledge and he'd break into a man loves a woman. And then I would then take the next gig, if, if, if it was William Bell, I'd have to take the moustache off and then he'd, put it, and he'd break into to William, William uh, Bell Records. That, that's, that's how the business was because no one knew what these artists looked like. You know, I mean, I've worked with so many Temptations and so many Drifters and so many Isley Brothers. And, and, and I think only later when sort of Ready Steady Go came along and, and, and all these artists could be seen that they realised how they've been conned over the years by Roy Tempest.